Good day, merchants. Let us see how we can manage orders in the Cash Cow Business app. Let us discuss how an admin, your employees, and drivers accept orders or delivery requests. Before anything else, make sure that your business visibility is turned on. We can see this in your business settings. Turn this on to appear in the Cash Cow Global app and receive orders. Since we are waiting for an order, let us check out the appearance of orders. Tap on orders from the home page or navigation bar. The orders go through six stages, new, confirmed, rejected, prepared, dispatched, and completed. At the top of the screen, the icon here is undelivered orders. Tap on this to see all unsuccessful orders listed. We will look at this later. The one beside it is a filter to which you can sort orders from recent to oldest. Order management, notification. Oh, there is a new order. Once an order comes through, you and your authorized staff will receive a notification. You will see a notification bell in the top right corner of your screen. You can open the notification information and see the order summary. To see all the orders received, go to orders from the navigation bar. You can now see hints from the top portion of the screen. Every screen of order summary will have specific hints. Order summary. Under the new stage, you see one order. Above the order are the day to day. You received it and a filter according to the order type. This function will be helpful when you are receiving tons of orders and want to organize them accordingly. The icon on the left changes if it's for delivery, dine-in, or pickup. I know that this is for delivery. You also see your customer's name and the order ID. The order status says that this is for delivery. The customer will be paying cash, and the payment is still pending. When a customer decides to pay via bank or e-wallet, it will be marked as paid as long as the merchant verifies the payment as received. Let us open the order and see what our customer ordered. I see that under the order details is the customer's order. They ordered two 12-inch five cheese pizzas. Underneath is the description of the dish and below is its price. If there are any notes your client provided, you'll see them here. Under the payments, you can see the breakdown of the customer's receipt. Remember the tax parameters you set in the business settings? The app already computed the tax here. Since this is for delivery, they will pay for the delivery charge I input from the order type settings. Then you will see the grand total payment that our customers should pay. Scrolling down to the customer details, you can see their name, contact number, and delivery address for deliveries. We will show you the difference between dine-in, deliveries, and pickups later. Accepting orders. For now, let us accept this order, and it will then go to confirm. Your customer and riders will receive a notification that the order is confirmed. If an order is rejected, it should go to the rejected phase and notify your client. Order prepared. Once you mark an order prepared, your rider will receive a notification and should press the I want to deliver this order. The order summary will be updated at the top of the screen showing the delivery person's details. Since I have a delivery person, his name and contact details should appear at the top of the screen. Order dispatched. I already gave the packaged order to my driver, so I can now dispatch it in the app by pressing the Start the Delivery Process button. You or your employees can also choose to deliver the product to your customers. The function is helpful if you decide to do on-foot deliveries. Order completed. The staff assigned to an order to do delivery should mark it as completed. The rider will then have to remit the payment to you. All unpaid CODs are listed in the Income tab on the home screen. When you receive the payment, mark an order as payment received. The dine-in and pickup information is a little bit different from the delivery. In accepting an order, your customers will not pay for a delivery charge and you will only see your customer's name and contact number. If an order is accepted, prepared, and served, it will go directly to the completed orders. Employee order management. What employees can do is only manage orders. The functions are all the same. They can see an order summary and accept orders. For drivers, their home screen is a little bit different. The drivers can see the cash they have to remit and deliver orders. 
When an admin or employee confirms an order, they will receive a notification saying that new order has arrived. When the said order is prepared, they will press on I want to deliver this order button. Receive and deliver the products. When successfully delivered, they will mark the order as completed and has to remit the cash to you. If the driver did not get to deliver the order, they have to mark it as undelivered and input the reason why. The admin will receive a notification about unsuccessful orders. Unsuccessful orders. You can see the list of undelivered orders in the top right corner. You can contact the driver and customer to know more about the issue. You can block a customer if this happens with this customer often. Check out our webpage, cashco.global, or for more information, like us on Facebook to be notified of new updates.